Hi, my name is Gurmeet Singh and today I want to talk about new features and enhancements in the SharePoint 2010 platform for IT pros. SharePoint 2010 is a business collaboration platform for the enterprise and the web. And as a part of this product, we focus on the following three areas for IT professionals. First is the flexible deployment by providing a quick and simple installation and configuration process. The upgrade from SharePoint 2007 is smooth and predictable. Second is the IT professional productivity by improving the administrative experience and by giving the administrator deeper operation insight. This includes a new streamlined central administration website and new capabilities to manage and monitor the SharePoint farm. Third is the scalable unified infrastructure that includes the better control over server resources which for example improves the performance and management of large list and data management and protection using high availability. Let's talk about the enhancements in the flexible deployment area. So for administrators familiar with the previous version of SharePoint Server, the installation option for SharePoint 2010 will be very familiar. In fact, a number of enhancements has been made that make the installation process easy for all the users. To start, Microsoft has added a prerequisite installer uh, before installing SharePoint 2010, run the prerequisite installer and it will scan the system to ensure that all the components, that's IIS, .NET Framework and the uh, required components are installed by SharePoint. If they haven't, the prerequisite installer will download and install the necessary components needed for SharePoint 2010 installation. Additionally, there will be an option to have the installer pull files from a local path avoiding the trip to the internet. Once the prerequisite components have been installed, you have two options to install SharePoint 2010. The graphical user interface or the installation can be script using configuration files and window PowerShell. The graphical user interface provides a simple step-by-step -step process where a user can specify the desired configuration. So by scripting the installation, you can ensure that all your servers running SharePoint Server are running identical configurations. Script installs would be also advantages over the disaster recovery perspective. If a server were to go down, SharePoint could quickly be reinstalled by using a previously created script. Both methods are fully supported. So let's move on to the enhancements in the IT professional productivity area. We have a new central administration site that has been redesigned in the SharePoint 2010 to provide a more familiar experience and it makes it easier for the user to find what they are looking for. The home page for central administration groups the major functional areas together and lists many of the most common tasks. Each of the major areas, application management, monitoring, etc., is represented on the home page and can be accessed by clicking on its name or by clicking the corresponding link from the navigation at the left side of the page. SharePoint 2010 implements a new, more flexible shared services model compared to the SharePoint Server 2007. The new model is referred to as service applications. The service application architecture is now built into SharePoint for Azure services, the new version of WSS, in contrast to the shared services provider SSP architecture that was only part of Office SharePoint Server. A key benefit here is that all the shared services are installed by default and there is no SSP setup. Moving on to the last area, scalable unified infrastructure. Several features improvement targeted at the database level and search service helps achieve high availability architecture. SharePoint 2010 leverages the underlying SQL Server high availability technologies such as log shipping, snapshots, and database mirroring, and now includes automatic failure. Other features such as read-only contained databases, unattached database backup and restore, and configuration database backup and restore provides much more granular control and manageability of SharePoint Farms data. So as an administrator, this release has made drastic improvements towards solution that is not only manageable, but one that is easy to maintain. The integration with Windows PowerShell allows for more administrative control, a more efficient command line, and improved productivity. The new central administration side makes it easier to locate and configure settings for your environment. SharePoint 2010 has incorporated more performance controls, logging and reporting options, as well as much desired improvement on the native disaster recovery options. The revamped service application features ensure greater flexibility with regard to the shared services being used within the environment. 
Lastly, even the user has a better experience. The user interface is more closely related to the office application, an interface that users today have great familiarity. I hope you'll find these enhancements very exciting and would encourage you to try this out. Please go and download the latest beta. Thank you.